basically um, in this pit, there's basically like corpus in it, which Jesus, like, there's like thousands of them or something, hundreds. And that's when he, he kind of, that's when he defeats um, his commander. And even though he could have spared him and helped him up after, you know, reinforcements came, he decides to show no mercy this time because he viewed him as the enemy. <laughs> and that's where it all started. And in the last moments, like, because at the same time, think of like, I don't know if you guys have watched Hour, but like the final episode of um, season two, Unthinkable. They kind of show like this flashback fight while the current fight's going on. And that's kind of what they do when, you know, Johnny is fighting, you know, John when he confronts him for what happened to, you know, McGraw and stuff. <clears throat> and it, they kind of, kind of, they're basically showing that fight at the same time and when it, while they're showing us this flashback um, fight, you know, with um, John and his commander. So yeah, so yeah, John and, you know, Johnny are fighting at this moment. And it seems like, um, because even, it gets to a point where, is it Wobby, does Wobby try to help or does, um, well, no, Wobby doesn't try to help because he just hates his dad. He hates his dad at this point. He hates everyone. <laughs> <clears throat> but the only person he trusts right now is um, John. Yeah. Because he even, like, tries to look after him and, you know, give him a roof under his head and stuff because he has nowhere else to go. So he kind of fights for, you know, John. And, you know, Johnny has to take him out. Even Well, he takes him out accidentally. He didn't mean to. He didn't really have a choice. But then while while um, Johnny's back's turn, he tries to get like a dagger or something and tries to stab um, Johnny. But then he stops him from doing it. And it, well, but then, you know, Johnny still gets beat up pretty bad. But then, you know, Daniel comes to fight him as well. <clears throat> and then, yeah, they have a little tussle. You know, just because I always wanted to see Daniel and John Creeves fight each other. That was that was a cool moment. That was a lot of cool moments over the season anyway. Yeah. But then they kind of like decide to settle things in the All Valley tournament that's coming up. And say like if um I don't know if because I don't know if Eagle Claws and oh my god that name and you know Miyagi Dojo are kind of joining forces so they're going to be like one dojo basically. I don't know if it's going to be like that. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. By the end, it seems like they're basically joining forces or maybe they're training together. I'm still not sure about that. By that ending. Because they're best, because Johnny and, you know, Daniel are basically working together by the end. Yeah. <clears throat> and, 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 you know, John Creef said if he loses, he's going to leave town, basically. But then he does kind of get some reinforcements from what... Because I've got to say that, basically, after, you know, John, you know, you know, killed his commander and basically took out the rest of the hostiles. Basically, that's when we actually get to... Well, it seems like it's Terry Silver, right? Yeah. You know, the guy, his witch friend from, you know, part three, who he said that he saved his life. Because we basically see Terry Silver saying thank you and stuff. Well, they don't say that it's Terry Silver, but it's kind of obvious that it is. Yeah. Because, like, it says, like, like, he'll always be there for him, basically. And that's when, you know, John Creeves at the end kind of calls, you know, you know, Terry Silver. So it seems like we're going to get Terry Silver for season four because I guess he's going to need all the backup he needs in this, you know, possibly final season. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So yeah, I guess Johnny and Daniel join forces to defeat John Creeves. And I guess that's going to be the storyline for season four in the All Valley Tournament. What could be the last All Valley Tournament? Yeah. Should be a good season. But yep, yeah, I'm just going to talk about some extra things, and then I guess that will be it for the review. Alright, so I'm quickly going to talk about Chosen and Kimiko returning to the Karate Kid franchise. Well, in Cobra Kai Season 3 anyway, but yeah. Yeah, it was so cool to see them again, because, you know, I'm such a big fan of um, Part 2. I, I don't know if a lot of people like Part 2, but I'm one of the, one of the fans who like it a lot. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> More than Part 3. Because I know there's big fans of part three, but yeah, this one, this I prefer this one. Yeah, it's really good to um, see these characters again. S well, I'm going to start with Kimiko then, yeah. Basically, in my opinion, Daniel's, you know, best girlfriend, which is kind of funny that you got to see, oh, well, I don't want to talk about the other one right now, because we're, we're focused on Kimiko right now. 
but yeah, it was it was uh, good to see him. Like in my opinion, Daniel's favorite, like best girlfriend I ever had. In my opinion, yeah, because like just just seeing um her and Daniel together again after all these years was awesome. Seeing them catch up and stuff, and then chosen like someone who I thought um like the, mo- the moment he saw Daniel, he was gonna have a big fight with him, and you know for most of the time when we see him in the full episode, it seems like. He still hates Daniel. <laughs> and then, like, when they actually have a, you know, big fight, it kind of gets to a point where Daniel actually loses from this new technique that he's now discovering from Chosen. Because it's actually a, a technique from Miyagi, but, you know, he doesn't really, he didn't really get to find out about it until, you know, he finally came back to Miyagi's home since these characters still live there. It basically, like, paralyzes Daniel. And he's actually going to do that killing blow, you know, that um, Daniel Nelly did on him on at the end of um, part two. But he, he, d- he then does that, you know, nose thing. <laughs> oh my God, I was like, wow. Because I was, I was thinking like, damn, how's Daniel going to get out of this situation? Unless he actually does the nose trick and he does, <laughs> and I'm just like, wow. And then, then it's just, then Chosen just laughing afterwards. <laughs> so I was thinking he was going to kill Daniel in that moment, but I guess not. <laughs> And then that's when he kind of shares the stuff that Miyagi, you know, left behind. Because I don't, because I think this was something that, you know, he didn't want, you know, I guess Daniel to learn for how it works as well. <clears throat> it's kind of more of a darker move, if you think about it. And just look at how it defeated Daniel, like it was, like it was nothing. <laughs> so, yeah. But he does use it on, you know, John Creaves, which I kind of mentioned that. You know, when he paralyzes John Cruz and stuff. Well, I'm not sure if I actually didn't mention it, though. <laughs> Looking back. Because that's how he kind of defeat John Creaves. And if his, um, you know, kid kid and stuff didn't, you know, show up. Also, what happened to the son? What happened to Daniel's son? Like, did he go somewhere? Because we didn't even see him at all. I mean, and did we see the mum in um, season three? Because I can't even remember. Because <laughs> I took a long time to finish this season. Because I've been watching Supernatural and stuff, so, yeah. Might be some things I've forgotten about, yeah. Because they probably, like, said, like, what happened with these characters, but I don't know. Because <laughs> there are some characters missing. <clears throat> but, yeah. And we get, like, a just a great scene with, you know, Kimiko and Daniel when they're talking with each other. Because I guess she's still, like, a dancer, And we kind of also get to see um, the girl who, you know, Daniel saved, which still, in my opinion, is like the best thing Daniel ever did when he saved that girl in that, you know, in that, um, was it like a turn, like hurricane or something that was going on? And, you know, Daniel just went out there and saved that little girl. And we get to see her all grown up and she kind of helps. Because basically, Daniel came here to find an investor for his business because it's getting to a point where he's, go- he's going to lose his business. Because he decides to stand his ground, but then he needs to find like an investor. And then, like, conveniently, <laughs> when he finds Kimiko, like, Kimiko kind of is like friends with the person that, you know, Daniel saved, that little girl. Because she's all grown up now. And she's part of a big company that he was trying to, that Daniel was trying to um, get an investor from. But it didn't really work out when he went. But then when he, when he sees Kimiko again and then, you know, see that girl who he saved, she kind of, you know, she owes Daniel her life, so she's fine with, you know, investing into Daniel's business, yeah. And that's how that works out, because that was the main reason why he was here. And at the same time, he gets, like, these scrolls from, you know, Chosen. Some, like, some of Miyagi's scrolls that he left behind. And that and that note from what Kimiko wore, oh, man, that was so emotional. The most emotional scene in the season. Like, one of Miyagi's last notes, you know, before he died. Yeah, that was a, that was a great scene seen them both cry man yeah but yeah it was good to see these characters again so yeah this is definitely like my favorite part of the season anyway this is what i was looking forward to the most yeah and i was happy to see it i, I bet a lot of fans of part two was happy to see this but yeah i'm gonna talk about um ali mills now so because you know ali mills actually returns so yeah i'm gonna talk about that now before i end the video all right so ali mills actually returns which is cool Basically, you know, Dan- Daniel Lewis and, you know, Johnny Lawrence's first ever girlfriend, 
which it was Johnny's first, and it, it kind of makes sense that they, like, since it's, you know, Cobra Kai, they had to make, you know, Johnny and, you know, <clears throat> Annie Mills have the most screen time with each other. And it was good to see, you know, Daniel and, um, you know, Annie Mills, you know, together since they used to, since there was, like, that was, like, you know, Daniel's first girlfriend, because he was the main character in the first one, and like the, t- the like the time period where they focused on you know Daniel and you know his first girlfriend Ali Mills was a time where I guess Johnny was kind of already broken up from Ali Mills, but we kind of get some throughout the show we kind of see that um, Ali Mills and Johnny did you know have a good time with each other, and it was good to see them together a lot in episode nine, seeing them communicate throughout the season as well. When she comes into town. <clears throat> I'm just surprised she wanted to see them anyway. <clears throat> and we kind of find out what's been happening with Ali Mills. Like, she has, like, two kids. <clears throat> One's basically, like, a rebel. What well, I can't remember what the other one does. Is it, like, a basketball or something? And then a writer? Yeah. <clears throat> the th- I think the daughter likes to do jumps and stuff. <clears throat> but, Yeah. <laughs> And I think she got divorced as well. She's also a doctor, which is cool. But yeah, she got divorced from her husband. And, you know, it's kind of funny what, you know, it's funny how Johnny responds because it's kind of obvious how he responds because, but yeah, also, you know, Daniel didn't really get over animals because even though he has a wife now, because that was his first love. And we kind of find out how they broke up, which to me is, eh. Basically, animals was talking with her boy and it was basically just friends. But I guess Daniel took it the wrong way, so maybe she just figured that he had trust issues and that's why they broke up. I don't know. <laughs> that's kind of a dumb reason. <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, I just like the like the, the time that um Johnny and, you know, Ali Mills spent together it was probably like how their relationship actually was, you know, when they went to the fair and everything, like there were some nice scenes together. There's even a moment where they then they kiss, but you know, you know, Johnny kind of has a relationship with someone right now, you know, McGraw's mother, so, yeah, he really likes her. And he wasn't, he was never gonna, you know, go there, but, and I thought he actually was, but it's good that he doesn't. He just have, like, a few hugs, and that's it. Even Daniel has a few hugs from Ali Mills. <laughs> Lol, even though his wife sees that as well, she's like, really? <laughs> At the end, <laughs> basically, yeah. Because she even gets to see, you know, Daniel's wife, which is cool. Just seeing them all together. <laughs> and Annie just seeing them both arguing with each other, like nothing's changed. <laughs> and, you know, she kind of finds out all the stories that would have been up to throughout, you know, Cobra Kai. <laughs> yeah, with their kids having rivalries with each other and stuff. <laughs> well, they don't know that they have proper rivalries, but... Because she does say, like, maybe our, kid, maybe our kids could turn out better than us, but then, you know, having that big fight in Daniel's house. <laughs> Lol. Yeah. But yeah, it was good to see Annie Mills again. And kind of make... Um, she basically helps um, Daniel and Johnny kind of get on with each other. Even though those kind of getting on, at, like, in some moments of the show. But yeah. They still kind of had, like, a big rivalry throughout this season, though. Because some of the things that I saw in season two, I was kind of surprised to even see them at all. But yeah, then they just start to be proper enemies again. <laughs> you know, if how things were going to Cobra Guy and stuff. <clears throat> yeah. It's just like by the end anyway, like they kind of, you know, join forces, with each, join forces with each other because they kind of have the same enemy. But this time I actually think they're going to get on with each other, even though sometimes they're just like technically out of each other <laughs> still. But that actually, I think they've fully joined forces with each other this time though. Yeah. I wouldn't really say they're rivals anymore. But that's, is that kind of like saying that Goku and Vegeta are still not rivals? <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, I really, really enjoyed the season. Definitely a great third season. Looking forward to season four and seeing Terry Silver again. Like, like, like that's going to be really cool to see him again. I wonder what's even been going on with that actor as well. But yeah, like, we're, we're looking to even get these characters again and actually get to see him again. It was so awesome. And I really enjoyed the season. But yeah, guys, I'm just going to end it here because, you know, the review's gone, gone on long enough. Like, I tried to make it, you know, sure, but, you know, so much happened in this season. Like, so much great stuff. So, yeah. 
Yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.